what is going on everyone broken mike here and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to this week's episode of buw and this is episode 137 part 4 so if you guys have missed any of the action in the previous three parts then do make sure to head on over and give them a watch so as you can see folks we are kicking off our final part of the show with a triple threat tables elimination match and our participants are bubbly zen representing the zen cats country girl representing the magnum foundation and the country lasses and last but not least chelsea representing best frenemies who's going to get the win here let's find out And if you guys do enjoy this one, then do be sure to leave a like for Mike, slap any comments down below, and of course do consider subscribing to my channel, because it really would help me out to reach my goal of 1400 subscribers. The following contest is a triple threat tables match. Making her way to the ring from Missouri County, Girl Dynamite. Making her way down to the ring first, representing the Country Lasses and the Magnum Foundation, Country Girl. And Country Girl, of course, entering her first tables match in BUW. She's been involved in Extreme Rules matches, so she might have a fair idea when she might feel a bit more comfortable being in this type of match, considering the only way to win this match is to put your opponents through some tables. Opponents first representing the Zen Cats, Bubba Lee Zen. And of course, over the course of the past year, Bubba Lee Zen has got a brand new attitude, a new aggression, and she's picked up more victories than she did before. But of course, still awaiting that first championship to put around her waist. And finally making her way down to the ring, representing best frenemies, the goddess of BUW, Chelsea. And Chelsea, a BUW original, a former BUW Women's World Champion, a former Tag Team Champion, a two-time Women's Intercontinental Champion, and a winner of a Ruthless Rumble match. Chelsea has pretty much done it all. She's 
She is ready for this big match, and she knows everyone backstage will be watching. Her and some might consider her the favorite going into this matchup. I don't count out Bubbly Zen or Country Girl. They're both more than capable. All right, let's just double check, make sure. Eliminations are on, they are indeed. And here we go, and look at this right at the gates. Bubbly Zen and Country Girl renewing old rivalries and now turning their attention to Chelsea's Bubbly. You could get strange team ups in this sort of matchup. Double stomp from Bubbly Zen. And as we mentioned before, the only way to win this match is to put both your opponents through a table. Rolling neck, snap from Bubbly. Oh, look, what did I say about double teams? Double suplex. Very, very unique team up there. We did say it could happen. Country with the waist lock. Chelsea sent over the top, lands on the apron. A country girl sends her crash into the floor. Bubbly Zen. With a shot to the back. Another shot to the back. Waist lock. Sends Country Girl into the corner. Country Girl with the elbow. Right hand to Chelsea as she re enters the ring. Snapmare into the drop kick. Hurricane Runner from Country. Follows it up with a Northern Knight suplex. A shot to the ribs. But Chelsea with a counter of her own. And a springboard forearm. Country Girl goes down. And now we're down to a one on one situation between Bubbly Zen and Chelsea. Knee drop to the arm. And Chelsea's holding her knee for some reason. Could she have tweaked it? Right hand, down goes Chelsea. Again, she's holding that knee. Doesn't look good for Chelsea though. Double stomp from Bubbly Zen. I'm just saying about that new aggression that she's been showing in the past 12 months. And Country bringing in the hardware. There's a table. Bubbly sent to the outside as Country sets up a table. Can she put the goddess away? And Chelsea catches Country with an Inzaguri. Chelsea sends Country into the corner. And Country has an answer. Lock up. Chelsea goes into the table, but doesn't go through it. Bubbly back in in a fireman's carry. And Bubbly Zen gets caught with a few elbows by Country Girl. Country is looking for the table. But got caught off guard by uh, Bubbly Zen. And them two have had some battles of in recent months, haven't they, Bubbly Zen and Country Girl? One of Country Girl's earliest matches in BW was against Bubbly Zen. And a couple of fantastic matches. They even main evented an episode of BW under Extreme Rules, if you remember that. And look at Bubbly, those lethal kicks. You've got to watch out for her feet there. Bubbly sending the table into the ring. The country trying to catch her off guard with some kicks. A wrist lock. Bubbly answers. Oh! The country grabs the table out from Chelsea's grasp. Springboard forearm. Attack of the shoulder now. And both tables are seen to have fallen to the outside of the ring. Along with Country Girl. And of course, it doesn't matter where the tables get set up, folks. It all counts. Inverted suplex. And Chelsea looks under the ring. 
the cries for tables from the fans asking you shall receive country sends Chelsea into the ring apron more tables insert into the ring country girl sets trying to set up a table she does oh momentarily a sit down Matt slam We've got three tables in the ring now one for everybody country goes down Chelsea goes down goodness me and who's probably going to target she's going for the goddess she's going right after Chelsea but she gets caught with a foot the step up in Zaguri stomp on the back there's double knees and follows it up with insult to injury country girl showing off for the fans gotta keep her eye on the ball country bouncing off the turnbuckle wait a second I thought for a second there oh there's a bubble buster I thought Chelsea was going to attempt something off the top rope to put country for the table oh we're going to get a double team here bubbly zen and country go over double net breaker to, to Chelsea a shot to the to the arm of country a wrist lock counted again A tie-up once more. Wasting valuable time was country and Bubbly Zen fights out. Shoulder breaker. The snap mirror follows up with a kick to the back. And Chelsea back in the ring. Meeting the kicks, the lethal feet of Bubbly Zen. Chelsea with some shots to the midsection Chelsea now in a very suplex to Bubbly Zen Country Girl staying out of harm's way Bubbly could be in trouble there oh and just like that Bubbly gets put through a table very unique way to put your opponent through a table and now it's down to Chelsea and Country Girl. And Chelsea getting another table. And there goes Country Girl's head first into that table. Into the ring apron goes Country Girl. We've got a lot of tables scattered all over the place. Kick to the midsection. Country's going for it. Country DDT. And that could do it. That could spell the end for Chelsea. All Country's got to do now is get a table and set it up. What is Country thinking? The Country kick. And that will knock, knock you spark out. The country now setting up a table. And Chelsea just slowly coming to. And country, wait a second, she's going for it. And through the table goes Chelsea, the flapjack. And country wins this tables match. So here is your winner of the match, representing the Magnum Foundation and the Country Lasses, Country Girl. And what a win that is for Country Girl, that's, a, that's another big win for that young lady. Anyway, onwards we go. And of course folks. It is that time once again.
And we know, as the saying goes on AEW Rampage, well, it looks like there's been enough talk. It is time for the main event. And this next matchup, folks, this main event should be a banger. Because we have got Jesse. And K9 representing the Broken Psychos, the cousins. And they're going to go up against the current BUW Global Champion Corey. And the current BUW World Champion Aussie, the Aussie Outbackers. Contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 453 pounds. Making their way down to the ring first, representing the Broken Psychos, K9 and Jesse. And I can't remember the last time these two teamed together, the two cousins since they last team together in a BUW ring with mean, just the two of them you gotta think it's been a little while great to see the cousins in action here their way down to the ring Corey the BUW global champion and Aussie the current BUW world champion the Aussie Outbackers so of course Corey and Jesse on a recent episode of BUW had a classic matchup and of course Aussie be heading to wrestle versus the world champion oh, excuse me as Aussie will be defending the World Championship against his former Intercontinental Tag Team Championship partner, Casey Hoyt. And it looks like it's going to be Corey and K9 to start it off. And here we go. And K9 getting off to a quick start. A stomp on the elbow. 
Drops the elbow one to Corey, and I think he's already been busted open here. He has. Look at that. And Corey, look at him. Poison Rana from Corey to K9. Aussie tagged in the world champion. A shot from K9. K9 gets whipped over the top rope. Of course, the Aussie at back is looking good. I mean, last year, going into WrestleVerse. Wait a second. Oh! Diving crossbody to the outside from the world champion. Just saying, going into last year's WrestleVerse, the Aussie Outbackers were the Intercontinental Tag Team Champions. And they're going into WrestleVerse again with some gold. Aussie. The top of the mountain. A counter there from Kane on with a hip toss. And Aussie that picture perfect drop kick. And targeting the knee of K9 and Ozzy who's already successfully defended his world championship on two occasions since winning the gold back at the Ruthless Rumble. Tag to Corey. Kneels the outbackers. Dominating this matchup. Oh goodness me, K9 make a wish. Hooks the leg. Will this do it? And Jesse in with the save. And Ozzy gets launched over the top. And Jesse's going after the world champion. While Corey deals with K9. It's completely breaking down here. And look out below. Oh, oh my goodness. K9 just got power bomb to the outside. The Aussie outbacker, the Aussie outbacker is not afraid to take a risk. And they've already shown that a couple of occasions already. It's just one way traffic at the moment. Jesse into the announce table. And Kane on with a shot to Ozzy. Hangs him out to dry on the ring apron. And Corey, he's got to watch his back. Kane's right behind him. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second here. Oh! And Je Jesse just got DDT off the ring apron. He's not even a legal superstar. It is crazy. Amateur takedown from Corey to Jesse. And Jesse is ch he's challenged Corey for the Global Championship at Wrestleverse. And of course, Corey has accepted that matchup. Look at this. Waistlock, belly to belly, suplex to Aussie. And the elbow drop finds its mark. Corey to the outside. And uh, K9, I should say, and Corey back in the ring. Springboard DDT. K9 needs to make a tag. And there it is. Jesse is in the former three time world champion. A full Nelson followed up with a kick to the spine. Will that be it? One count only. And Corey cannot believe it. Corey with a float over into a falcon arrow. Ozzy gets tagged in. Broken Sarkos can't seem to get much going their way at the minute. It's not been a good night for the Sarkos as it is. Exploder suplex from Jesse. That's just what the doctor ordered. A bit of offense going to Psycho's way. 
Jesse tags in K9. The Cousins now trying to find a way back into this match. Michinoku driver from K9. K9 who's had plenty of success in the last couple of years. Looking to continue here tonight. You're in K9 with the STF. We haven't seen K9 utilize this move for some time. And Corey in with the save at the last moment. Was Aussie about to tap? We won't know. And K9 into the cover. And just like that, the broken psychos pick up the victory. What a what action we saw and what a comeback from the broken psychos. It was one-way traffic for the most part between between these guys and Aussie Outbackers looked like they had this match well in hand. And this is what happened here, the pin for the psychos. And here are your winners of the match representing the broken psychos. Jesse and K9 and the two cousins come tops here tonight they come up tops in this main event what a comeback from the psychos in that main event folks as we are edging one day closer to Wrestleverse or one week closer to Wrestleverse remember guys a two night event which is just around the corner but anyway guys I am going to leave it there because, of course, we have run out of time for this week's episode. If you have enjoyed it, guys, then do be sure and, and hit that like for Mike on all four parts. Slap any comments down below. And, of course, please do make sure to consider subscribing to my channel. And, like I said before, it would help me out. And like I said, guys, that's going to do it for this week. But don't forget, don't forget to tune in again next week as we get one step closer on our road to Hollywood in Wrestleverse so until then guys do take care have a great weekend whatever you're doing and I'll see you lovely people next time